Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with A Place Further Than The Universe episode number 11 reaction. Alright, the previous episode. Um, Oh boy, we had another good, really good episode which uh, deals with another of, uh, you know, another one of our human emotions that is like, you know, insecurity and friendship in general. So Yuzu is we already know Yuzu is not accustomed to interacting with people you know because she has always been busy with her job and stuff when in an age when she's supposed to make friends and just hang around with friends she was busy with her job and that's the reason why she was never able to make any friends and she lacks in this communication department so she you know she gets like a oh and we we reach antarctica in the previous episode and we like you know kind of go to our rooms and stuff and all that stuff is happening like we are just unpacking our things so that's when yuzu gets the message realizes that a message has come from her mom where she has gotten uh the uh, like you know the contract of uh one of the dramas i think uh to act in it so now she became insecure about that oh i'll be busy in my job so i won't be able to hang out with these girls after we go back to japan so that's why she was like oh will we still be, be friends am i like you know should i take this job this and that so <clears throat> in the end he, she decided to take the take the job because she knew a lot of people like you know, a lot of fans are actually like you know, really excited for this and everything and she herself wants to do it but then she talks to the girls about being friends and like you know brings up like a friendship contract and stuff <laughs> so uh in the end we see how um uh what's her name uh how sh uh, uh shirase she uh, shirase was not happy with the whole friendship contract thing but uh, you know kimari kind of got uh <laughs> you know sad about that whole situation and they all of them all the girls decided to uh, do a little birthday party because you know her birthday has just uh you know passed when they were in the uh, ship and they were sick so they do that and you know obviously yuzu was very happy and she realized that friendship is something where there's no visible boundaries it's an abstract thing and it's something that you feel so you cannot make a friendship by contract you you know like that's not how it works so and she cried and everything and you know like she I'm, I'm sure she uh, realizes after that after the previous episode she realizes even you know for a little bit how actual friendship works and she's going to learn as she spends more time with these girls so yeah happy ending so in the end so yeah let's see what this episode brings we are in antarctica currently maybe we're going to just you know like roam move around a little bit see stuff and uh, even though i don't think there's anything else to see here it's just eyes but still We'll see. So let's get started. This episode number 11 of uh, Place Further Than the Universe. I'll be putting the subtitles in the timer right here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. All right. Here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. What? What's happening? Oh my God. All right. Banking manager. <laughs> what the hell? Is that Dan? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, there you go wow that's what happens the first thing yeah oh friends who who are these oh Wait, this is it from high school track team. Oh, oh, wait. 
Did I read it right? It's written track team, wasn't it? So were they like her previous friends or something? Like, uh, uh, hmm. All right, let's let's wait. I'm sure we'll get to know. Like they themselves seemed kind of awkward coming in front of the camera. Like those girls. So I'm pretty sure it's something big. For Hinata at least. <clears throat> oh, I can see the tan now. Oh my god. <laughs> I never noticed it up until now and from the opening now I can see like you know the tan that Kimari has Bash that drum can okay <laughs> Whoa what, what is that flare? A smoke signal okay Oh Wait, what? Supplies? Are they here to drop off some supplies? Ooh. Okay. Who okay. Extra stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's for the observatory. Ah, oh, okay. Oh no. Ah, oh. spreading it all over social media. <laughs> That's true. Yep, she's being bothered. Hmm. Yep. Whoa. No, not that. Oh, she went out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's stuck. Ah. Uh. Okay. Like, I'm guessing those were like friends, you know? that type of friends who were just i don't know like i'm i'm like jumping into big conclusions here but it feels like it's something like that we'll see you know those type of friends in name only that type of friends who are i don't know let's see i'm jumping into conclusions without knowing the actual thing damn the change in her oh No, not that. <laughs> hmm. Oh, well. What is, what's that? 
Digging a hole with steam. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? Oh, that girl. I remember her. Yeah, this girl. The Yukun, yeah, like, she, she was kind of arguing with him. <laughs> oh no. Oh! Watch for animals. Oh, there'll be penguins from here onwards, I'm guessing. <laughs> Wait, then. Yeah, there you go. That's kind of sad, you know. Won't be able to see. Yep. All right, no need to hide it. Like, <laughs> like hopefully he she talks if she has a talks with her alone. What the? Ma <laughs> you wow, she's just <laughs> well, obviously, you just. <laughs> Lock and do. Oh no, I, you know what I'm thinking? Maybe those girls were people who she were friends before. <laughs> oh, those girls. <laughs> you couldn't <some> letter <laughs> just waiting for like what's happening Hanyu Daisan high school track team Okay. Yeah. Quit the track team and I will uh, whoa. Quit the track team, okay. So yeah, they, they were kind of friends before I'm guessing. We're sorry for leaving you all alone. Okay. Ah, so it's one of those things, you know, where I guess they kind of had like a fight or something and never talked after that. That kind of thing, I'm guessing. Oh.
Okay. Fastest speed. Okay. What? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. So Yeah, but why are they apologizing now after Okay, so they are bad people. And now they're coming messaging her after she's going to attack like Okay. Wow, all right. Yeah, so I was correct. They are friends, like that type of friends. Hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> hmm. Whoa. Yeah, she doesn't want others to like, you know, feel affected because of her things. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Sure. She has is not happy about the way. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like she needs some closure, you know, like Hinata. I don't know how, but. Hmm. True. Yeah, that's true. And this place is completely pollution free, so. What? Alright. Cake. <laughs> snow, snow. Oh. Yeah, it does look like it, you know? <laughs> the brown hills and all. Wait, they're painting? Oh. <laughs> oh, for the satellites. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. She does this constantly. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> what? Is that an egg? Okay, yeah. Okay. That's true. Yeah, so what do we do in this situation? <laughs> what? Oh. Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, they're still, they're still here. I don't know, like, like I don't, I don't think you should forgive these type of people. No, 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 these type of people, I don't think they deserve forgiveness. Like, they're not even sorry about it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <sighs> yeah, but it's not needed anymore. <laughs> you might. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there you go. Yeah, all right. Wow, okay. Wow. Oh, wow, this episode. <laughs> Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, last year's winner. Oh. <laughs> Oh. 
<laughs> I'm drunk again. Yeah. Oh my god, it's really going to break or something. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. This episode. Oof, that was a good one. Oh. Like, I love the fact that, like, Hinata was never, you know, like, would never be able to actually say stuff like that to those people, even if they were once, you know, her supposedly friends and they once, you know, uh, worked together and everything. She would never be, uh, and she, like, you know, really doesn't like them now. Um, Hinata would never be able to say something like that to them because Hinata's personality is kind of keeping it to herself we saw in the previous episode as well you know where the whole passport shenanigan happened where she did not want to involve others in their problems and she's that type of a person who is just fuming in the inside but outside she isn't able to express it properly so that's why she has it did it in her stead and that shows like you know what good friendship they have like if your friend is able to be angry on your behalf that's a good friendship and you know like that's that's like the best thing like how many friends can be angry on your behalf if there's someone who can be angry on your behalf then yeah that's irre irreplaceable Okay, wow, what an episode. Okay, this one. Uh. So, another fantastic episode dealing with, you know, like, um, Hinata's problem and Hinata's, like, in a little, the thing that she has, like, in a little complication that she had with her past and it was amazing it was amazingly done okay this episode we see um they're they're from the track uh, uh team yeah i think that's what they said yeah um these girls they oh at, at first we see them uh kind of like kind of doing the video and everything imari's mom and sister comes in and the first thing they say is like is they laugh at her because <laughs> of her tan <laughs> Uh, and they're like, <laughs> they're like, yep, this just snap some pictures and <laughs> just, you know, like, let's spread this on social media. <laughs> okay, that was funny. And then comes in um, the friends, you know, the so-called friends. And at the beginning, I was uh, like, you know, I said that, okay, are these like those type of friends? Those type of friends who are just, you know, here because she is... No, you know, she's popular now. She is, like, you know, I don't like the, the, the main, the, the, the national media. Everyone is probably just, uh, you know, like uh, their news are coming on television and everything. She's becoming popular worldwide. So are they here because of that? Are they that type of friends? Or are they really people who, uh, like, you know, they, he had, he not had some problem with, but then they really are um you know what do you call it then they really are uh feeling sorry about it and that's why they came like the, the, like the timing was a real red flag here because they never came before to apologize and now that she is in antarctica they suddenly are like oh let's go and apologize to her or like you know talk to her um like that that this whole time was a big red flag and so that's why i was thinking like yeah these are probably that type of friends who are just here for you know because she's more relevant now that's why they're here they're not uh you know they're, they're not here as to be friends with her they're just here for because she's popular now like that's basically it and yeah it turns out that's really correct that's what they are so uh they come in and that's when hinata was just like oh no i'm not doing this she just covers the camera and just says like oh i've hurt my leg goes away shiase realizes something's probably happening and the reason why shiase was able to realize that is because shiase was the one who she had 
the most conversation in that previous episode with the passport thing where the passport thing happened Shiasa was the one who she had the maximum conversation with and Shiasa is the one who through her own eyes saw her struggling and saw her whole like you know her problem like her problem is that she does not want others to get involved in her problem that's like her thing so seeing that situation she does say was able to understand that yeah something is probably wrong because as soon as she saw those uh, girls she just you know left and uh, okay but she, at that moment she didn't say much and she was still keeping an eye out on Hinata and seeing if something's really wrong or is it just my imagination and okay then a few things happened they were like you know kind of giving postcards and stuff and here again Hinata did not write to those friends um so Shiasa also sees that and realizes that yep something is wrong she just goes follows her to the toilet she's not there she goes out she's seeing that Hinata is just bashing the snow and you know kind of throwing out her anger and just screaming and throwing buckets and stuff and that's when she has a realizes that yeah something is wrong and like she, she like my god like the, the way she completely changed like after that she goes in and you know all the other girls were like oh let's go they're going to bring us to the uh, testing cent uh, like you know place and we're going to go there and they were just like you know just running around happy and we see Hinata also participating in that and just like, you know, so happy and everything. So, oh, yes, and now it's interesting, like, you know, like, it, I, I like the fact that um, Shirase is the one who actually, uh, like, you know, is like more friends or closer to uh, Hinata because Hinata and Shirase, they, these two are actually uh kind of opposite if you see it like you know like that because hinata always eats everything just within herself and doesn't want others to get involved in her stuff and is bothered by seeing others bothered because of her while shirase is completely the opposite she is just like says what she thinks is correct and she doesn't you know stop and like you know doesn't feel bothered by expressing her own opinions on others and this really like you know kind of like you know is an interesting dynamic because i feel like hinata whatever hinata will have struggles with she also will ab be able to give her a helping hand on that while vice versa as well like if something shirase is having problems with hinata might be able to help because you know because they are the opposites and they understand what to do in certain situations like if something is up Hinata's alley, it won't be up uh, Shiase's alley. Like it's kind of the opposite they are. So it's an interesting thing. Okay, so at first Shiase kind of tries to ask Hinata that oh so what's happening? Something wrong? And she just ignores that and you know brushes over it. They go to the um the center uh, where there's like you know the rocks and the snow and the water that place. <coughs> and okay um uh all right so I was, it was interesting to see a few other things that they were doing like, you know for the satellite they were kind of painting the parts and you know doing all of these things it was interesting and i, I did see like you know like sometimes the whole atmosphere not atmosphere but the, the whole thing is a little bit dark because uh it's not that it's nighttime it's just because like of the clouds i'm guessing you know like, like, like there's this one part we see where it's like kind of dark and i was thinking wait a minute why is it dark now like this this place is supposed to be day like you know 24 hours and then i saw that it was actually the clouds and i'm like all right so because of the clouds coming and going sometimes it feels like it's nighttime while it's actually not nighttime it's basically the clouds so yeah and now that i think about it it's kind of sad now that you think that you won't be able to see the auroras like it never will be night so <laughs> yeah it's kind of unfortunate if you think of it that way but at the same time the the, the sunlight also kind of uh you know lessens the cold that we have to feel you know it's a lot less colder than if it would, would have been at night and um you know a lot of other like you know sceneries and everything probably looks a lot better in 
the sunlight so that's like another plus point you can say but unfortunate you can't see the auroras uh, and that's also why Kimari got that little tan, you know, like she, she did, probably did not realize and did not put on the sunscreen. <laughs> Since it's day the whole time, like, you know, it's, it's probably just, and there's no pollution, nothing. So it's just the sunlight kind of gets into you, I'm guessing. That's why you kind of get that tan. And yeah. All right. And then they are like, you know, going on the truck. And here's where... Okay, where is that part? Oh, yeah, in the truck, she just again asks uh, Hinata, like, is something bothering you? And she's like, no, it's a little, like, you know, frozen. My lip balm is frozen, so it's hard to put on. Just brushes that out as well. And, like, none of the other girls were able to realize what was happening. She just, only Shiraza was able to realize. As I said, that's probably because she actually interacted with her and saw what her personality is before you know in that past four episode so she like you know kind of understands her a lot better Hinata a lot better than the others all right then then we see like they're in the bath and they <laughs> and Kimari is like oh I went to the mahjong place and <laughs> Shirase was playing mahjong and then she suddenly got angry she's like no get out don't <laughs> don't bother me and <laughs> Oh my god, Kimari was just telling the other opponents what, you know, what she had, ties she had, and, oh boy. Okay, now here's the, 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 the you know, the next scene we see, Shirase goes to the, you know, she gets to know, like, there's some emails and stuff, so she goes to the computer, and checks out the email, where the track team has sent the email, and she just, like, you know, she sees it, now here, Hinata comes in, and I thought Hinata would be mad at her, but I guess you cannot be mad, like, you know, at Shirase, because after that, Shirase said that, yeah, like, I, I'm, I was really concerned, like, I was worried, and she was, like, you know, almost crying and everything, so obviously, after you see that, I don't think anyone can be angry at anyone, because it's, we can see that she is genuinely being bothered by Hinata's actions, and she was probably thinking, thinking that, yeah, something is wrong, and so... That's why Hinata was like, alright, fine, I'm going to tell. So, this is not a good story, but, you know. And she tells the story. Okay, here's one thing that I don't understand. Um, okay, we see the flashback. And the girls are saying, wait a minute, they're, they're like in the, in the track team? Okay, it's, it's the story of why she stopped going to the club. We see the other girl saying it's the competition, so the fastest people should go. Okay. Your year and stuff doesn't matter. And Hinata is like, but for the third year, this will be the last competition. Other girl is like, exactly, it should be more rude to go easy on them. Okay, so basically the other girls are telling her that, oh, like, you know, like the fastest and the most capable one should go. So... You know, it doesn't matter if there are, they are our seniors or anything like that. And then she, Hinata gets selected. The coach is like 200 meter Miyake Hinata. She gets up, she's happy. And she looks behind. No one's impressed. Oh, then I guess this is one of those seniors. She says that, didn't you say something to that idiot? And the other girls are like, of course, we told her to be more sensitive. Oh, okay, I understand now. It, it was a little bit, like, you know. All right, so basically what happened is, the girls, like his friend, her friends, told her that, ah, it wouldn't be a problem. The seniors wouldn't mind. The seniors would actually mind if you actually went easy on them. So, the best would should you know become the one who goes there and does their thing Hinata was there at that moment like these girls told her that she gets selected and one of the seniors is like oh like didn't you tell her like to you know like about this whole thing and the other girls completely changed sides and they're like oh yeah yeah we told her but she you know like she she wasn't that 
uh like you know she she didn't understand that and she you know she didn't realize what was happening no not like that that sounds like a good thing she, they they actually put the blame on her they're like oh they they like you know she she wasn't able to um you know read that atmosphere yeah that's the word not sensitive like they say kuki yome so that means reading the atmosphere yeah that's the actual word she she wasn't able to read that atmosphere and hinata was listening to that so basically the the her friends basically just turned on her in the end and after that she left the club room i'm guessing never came not club room so i never left the club and never came back and stopped talking with each other and they also didn't bother talking to her or apologizing to her or anything you know they don't do anything okay so now they're back after this they're seeing that hinata is like you know going to the antarctica this and that they're back and they are pretending as like oh we have been friends all along that type of thing all right i understand now that's basically what happened oh boy well yeah and she says like yeah so basically i was the one who was only thinking that oh we were friends and this is the reason why she's so bothered by other people like you know bothering other people and it's like a little thing you know like because of her past experience and she doesn't want to actually bother others and always wants to read that atmosphere you know that's what she tries to do up all the time and sometimes it kind of like you know makes her fall into awkward situations where she herself is angry about something or sad about something but because she wants to read the atmosphere she doesn't let that any like you know express that to anyone else and uh, yeah that's basically it okay i understand the whole thing now so she narrates this story to everyone and everyone's a little bit bothered by this so hinata's like oh don't worry about it it was like in the past like like just forget about it like all the other girls were like all right fine you were saying that i yeah, will forget but she just obviously is being bothered by this because we know like she just is this type of a person who never really wants to like you know keep something like this going on she she's being bothered by this continuously and obviously it would bother anyone because uh, it's just a like you know very bad situation like very uncomfortable situation like suddenly their friends are here now acting as if nothing happened between them no problem they have always been friends that type of a uh, like you know thing so yeah as i said like you know if their friends were really uh like you know sad and like you know really repenting about this i would have been like all right fine you know like at least like they 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 were kids they, they they did something wrong and now they are at least like you know having a uh, sad about it but nah they they were not like that they are just here because you know they want they're here because their their friend is popular now that's why they're here the so called friend okay okay and then we kind of see they can they kind of uh like do the whole walkie talkie thing and we report what's happening and uh, oh this is where they like you know paint the satellite all that stuff satellite marker and everything's just kind of going on like it normally does hinata is acting as if nothing's happening she has is being continuously bothered by this So here she says why well, like alright you know what let's talk and she's like um, Hinata come out i need help with the water they go out and she says here like i'm thinking what i should have done if i was in her position and she's like like yeah like like up until now she, they didn't bother apologizing and like you know sending any letter emails nothing and now that you are here out of the blue as if nothing happened they are here telling sorry and they want to talk to you like what type of a situation is this this is disgusting and she's like i i i definitely could not act as if nothing happened you know so that's why she is also being bothered but hinata is like you know what she has said like you guys being here is the only thing that i need she's like just give me your hand and like put it on on her cheeks and is like this is enough you know like your hand is enough nothing else you don't need to say anything don't need to get involved in anything else and you know like i have you guys now and it's okay like i i'm not bo- being bothered by them anymore so like you know what they could have ended it there you know 
this whole thing could have ended there and you know she said we could have been like all right fine you know like yeah we are here with you and they could have just hugged and everything and the next day they could have just declined their you know like uh what do you call those girls request to like you know meet with them and send messages to hinata they could have de just declined it and they could have just ended the episode there but i love the fact that they did not end it there what happens after that is something that i was very glad that it happened because if they actually shut the whole thing down like you know if if that was it if hinata was like yeah nothing's problem anymore you guys are here with me it's all fine maybe everything could have been fine you know it would have probably taken two three four years for this wound to heal within hinata you know and she would have been fine after that because they she would keep interacting with these girls and she would have had no new friends and after a few years she would see like you know look at that past and she would be like oh i was actually bothered by that situation look at me now i'm i have no problem now like she would really be able to uh you know like conquer the whole thing but it would take time that could have happened and that would have been a happy ending you know but the thing that happened after that really like you know is something that i really wanted to happen and it, and it happened um the next scene is where we see uh, hinata and shirase and all of them were there in front of the camera and this is what i'm saying you know those girls are not repenting or not sorry at all we see the camera kind of is like you know kind of towards them and they are like you know like putting taking out like mirrors looking at their hair just you know like kind of trying to set their like uh, appearance because they're coming on national camera uh, national television so they're like ah like yeah better be ready they're not sorry at all if they were sorry they would have probably just looked down you know kind of they kind of felt sorry about the situation and probably be ashamed to look at the camera because hinata is on the other side if they were really sorry and they were really like you know regretting their things they would have been like that but no they're not their head held high they are just looking at the mirror and setting their hair and doing whatever they're doing so yeah i'm glad that they got what they deserved after that shirase like you know what shirase does after that i'm glad because they're not repenting they're not sorry about this situation is at all now yeah that's the thing now you know what these type of people i know like you know there's these type of people there because you know what the funny thing about these type of people are like some people you know these type of people there are some people who actually even doesn't even understand that they have done something wrong there are people like that you know like they like you know like it wouldn't surprise me if these girls were someone like that they probably don't even realize the amount of uh you know uh pain that they have caused hinata they don't don't even realize they're that oblivious to that situation they're you know like their emotions are that in that manner you know, they, they don't even feel sorry then I, I doubt they even realize the amount of pain they caused hinata there are people like that i've seen those type of people you know like who actually hurt people and then after later on you realize that they didn't even realize that they were hurting you they don't they, they don't care that type of a, like you know nonchalant personality and maybe they, like you know these girls were also someone like that like they they probably didn't even realize that they did something wrong they were like ah yeah like we had a little falling out so what we're friends something like that so anyways so yeah these girls they were just like that and she also could see hinata continuously being you know like bothered by the situation and hinata is like uh, when i imagine them looking all relieved afterwards uh, it gets under my skin and she's like yeah i'm, I'm a very petty person I, aren't i but no obviously not like these these type of a thing is something you should feel like otherwise you'll just be like you know like you, you, you like you know all the all everyone everyone probably would feel like this if they were in hinata's shoes like like what type of a thing is this you know like they never bothered to talk to him up until uh, her up until now and suddenly they come up now that she's in antarctic and she's a, she's popular she's on television now their friendship senses are just overflowing like that's what's happening huh <laughs> like okay so she also here realizes that yeah hinata is never going to say anything you know she's that type of a person and she would just keep this hidden 
and it would have been fine you know like we are with her it could have been fine but she she has a thought like okay like this would be fine but i want to go above and beyond so obviously she herself was pretty pissed with this whole situation seeing these girls just nonchalantly standing here so she just comes to the camera and she's like you might think hinata has been holding a grudge against you since she's quit school and that she's been suffering badly you know what i feel like these girls don't even understand that i feel like that's the type of people they are they're so emotionally stupid you know like i don't have any better words but they're so emotionally stupid these people don't even probably don't even realize that they hurt hinata and that's disgusting now they're here just because you know like i don't know but anyways and oh yeah maybe you know what maybe shriyasa is right maybe they are that type of people they, they're probably those type of you know like uh like what can i say like those type of people who as, as she says like maybe you think she spends every day crying thinking of about what happened to her yeah like i, I guess I, I guess they're probably here now they're probably thinking as if like oh like you know uh hinata is probably really happy now that we are back you know like yeah like something like that they're probably thinking something like that now they, they probably think that yeah hinata doesn't have friends so yeah let us go now you know and show how good of friends we are and she'll be overjoyed something like that they're thinking like yeah they, they, they're probably narcissistic or something like that these girls so now okay um yeah she has a kind of get starters here so kimari like you know just continues like like and the, and the main thing is that they say to those girls that like you guys might think that she's having trouble and she doesn't have any friends but no you know she's living her life fully here the you know hinata doesn't need you guys and doesn't want to uh, talk with you guys at all we are having an amazing time we are friends and you know like hinata is having the best uh like an experience so piss off <laughs> Hinata was kind of like you know being a little bit like you know got surprised and she says like okay Hinata is already looking forward yeah there you go she's already walking she's taking her steps with us <laughs> Yusuke just hugs her and she's like it's fine it's friendship <laughs> and like Hinata there you go I'm a real jerk so I'll say it outright like this was needed you know like since Hinata would never be able to tell all of these things Shiase was needed here just to express all of this thing on her behalf I'm a real jerk so I'll say it outright you can't live your lives in this halfway state forever you hurt someone and made them suffer now you get to live with that that's what you get for hurting someone that's what you get for hurting my friend oh this this scene was amazing and Hinata just starts crying Oh. Wow. You think you can come crawling back now? <laughs> Piss off. Oh boy. And yeah. Yeah, that's where it ends. And I'm I'm I can I would have been a little bit happier if they actually showed the expression for, of the friends what their faces were at that moment but they did not show us <laughs> uh, but yeah that was it and then they have a little you know like a uh, new year's you know like, like a little food and everything and you can finally <laughs> send message to that girl and they do the little you know the the bell ringing thing with the cans and yeah so that's where it ends so that was it fantastic episode and as i said like you know if if there's someone some friend anyone you know like who is able to be angry on your behalf that's real friendship or who's able to be sad on your behalf that's real friendship and we can see that that's the case here like she also got angry on hinata's behalf 
and she felt annoyed and she felt as if it was happening to her that's how good of a friend she is to her and yeah that that was something and yeah that was that was amazing another fantastic episode this was episode number um 11 of a place further than the universe so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll definitely check them out so yeah that's it thanks for watching guys and i'll be back with another episode of a place further than the universe next week so see you guys then until then goodbye and have a nice day